Hart, are you ready for a fun topic? Because I I love this topic. Do you ever not come with fun topics? There's some days we come up with topics. I'm like, yeah, okay, yeah. This one is like, I'm very excited to just talk through this one with you. I would love to do this. Throw us back a decade ago. We're at that pregame sitting on an air conditioner. And our girls are like, I don't know, doing whatever like ices that they were giving each other. Uh, and I just want to sit in the background and talk about like if we could redraft this draft, who would the draftees be? That's the topic. We're weeks after the NBA draft now. We've seen pretty much every player in action. I want to go back through the actual NBA draft and redo the draft. If teams could make that pick over again, knowing what they know now, seeing what they've seen now in summer league, uh, how much would change? The reality, the real answer here, Card, I think is that not much would change. That's my belief. I think teams, even if there have been struggles in summer league, nobody's like rushing to make a different move. But for you and I's purposes, there's going to be some changes, I think, because I think we've drawn some conclusions we feel strongly about. So any questions before we do this exercise? I just want to do the lottery, 14 picks, but let's redraft the lottery and uh, see how different it looks. Let's get it. Okay. First overall pick. The Atlanta Hawks are on the clock. They took Zachary Rissache in real life. What would the Hawks do if they could redo this pick? Ooh. I think the Hawks would take Reed Shepard one, actually. That's what I think, too. I think they would. I think it's already become clear Reed Shepard might be, like, the most unique guy, one-of-one guy in this draft. Yeah. Trey Young, Reed Shepard backcourt? Like, how do we feel about that? It'd be really fun, I think. I think they're both kind of like genius types, you know? Yeah, but maybe it would work. I think it could work. Um, all right, so Reed Shepard goes one to the Hawks. Now the Wizards are on the clock. They took Alex Saar in the real draft. Saar, a.k.a. Hitch. Uh, by the way, did, wasn't there a Saar thing that went viral yesterday? Am I making this up? I might have had an Alex Saar dream. If, if Was it the one of him pulling up on a break? Yeah. Four yeah, on your, your clip. Yeah. Yeah. Real hoops. Yeah. Four on one fast break and he just clanks a three. <laughs> real hoops. I am so out on Alex Sar. If I was the GM of the Wizards, I would go nowhere near him. Reed Shepard's off the board. What would the Wizards do it to if they could redraft? I think they'd go Stefan Castle. I think so too, Cart. We are aligned right now. Why why do you think Castle would jump Reese and Sar? Just because I think that you know, they drafted Reese and Sar for like potential purposes. But like Stefan Castle has those same potential purpose uh like reasons and also is better right now. Yeah. And I just think Castle looks the part of like a long time NBA starting wing. Like I'm getting some Jalen Brown vibes from Stefan Castle right Ooh. now. And I think uh that's one of those guys you'd rather just take the confident good player, not the dice roll. Okay. Next up is the Rockets, who originally got Reed Shepard. They're going to be sad with this development. Who would they take? This is where I it gets interesting. It's kind of wide I, open now. Yeah. I think the Rockets take Donovan Klingon. We might have to debate each other on this and come to a consensus. Like I don't play, think Klingon's play, good enough to go third. You don't think? Like, play Shangun next to Klingon. Klingon brings something defensively they don't really have. They don't really have a team full of defenders. I just don't think Klingon's passed the eye test that way in summer league. Now his second game was better, but he's still like, I think he looks like he has no offensive game. He had five assists, but he can't score. I think I know where you might go. Well, if you're going to take a center. Zachary. If you're going to take a center, wouldn't you take the better center? In hindsight, they're, they're drafting third. They want to take the center. That's three years younger than Edie. Okay flipping this what if they don't want to take a center then they take buzelis they take buzelis or if we really went down the list isn't there some discussion for guys like bub carrington there's some guys like terrence shannon there is not yet though not yet though okay yet. so so it's basically buzelis or Klingon or Edie. is that it there's one other name i'd throw out Ooh. There's one other big I'd throw out. Who? Khalil Ware deserves to be up here, I think. Damn, all the way up here? He's been hooping. Has he, he not? Be the, he, he'd be the third but behind Klingon, 
and Edie and Ware to me. You but think he'd be the third. You think Klingons looks better than Ware in Summer League? I don't at all. No, I don't think so, but I'm projecting. Okay. All right. So I'll I guess I'll let you make the pick. I don't <laughs> why don't we just why don't we just stay away from center while we go Blue Zealous here? Blue Zealous at three. I like that. Yeah. I like that. Blue Zealous goes three. Okay. The, honestly, this this is way more in line with what I think should have happened on draft night. Now at the four, it's the Spurs. They could take Reese Ache. They could take Sar. They could take Edie Klingon, Ware, or others. I want to say Edie here. Here's the flip I think they might do. I think they might take Reese Ache. Because Reese Ache has actually looked good, even though he hasn't gone crazy. And I think they wanted the French connection. That that make, But they could also get that French connection with Sar. Is Sar French? Yeah. <laughs> is he? Yeah, he is. He played in Perth. That doesn't mean he's French. No, he he. I swear to God, he's French. Alexander Sar is French. Yes. Is he really? Yes. <laughs> How have I missed this? I don't know this. Yes, he's French. I thought to Johnny Salon was French. There, he's French too. That's too much France. The, no, France took over the the, the freaking draft. I'm taking Reese for for the Spurs. Now the, that. now the Pistons are on the clock. Alex Sar, Klingon, Edie, Khalil Ware, Bob Carrington, Taron Shannon, Ron Holland, Bobby Clintman. <laughs> I'm just like, stay pat with Ron Holland here. Um, no. Uh... Well, was, my joke at six was going to be the Hornets still take to Johnny Slot. <laughs> Ah, uh, can you tell me where you're leaning on this one? I mean, I, I think we're in ED territory. But I also think, like, I don't know that any team would actually do it. But I th- I think Edie's been the next best player on the board. The thing about Edie is I think he's more susceptible to being drafted by a team that has, like, a, a, a four, like a Jaron Jackson, right? I don't really – Duran and Edie don't work to me. I agree. So I need we need some shooting. The Pistons wouldn't reach a Terrence Shannon at this point, would they? I mean based on what we've seen, he's been stellar, no? Yeah, but also like maybe we wanna we don't want Bub Carrington, because I think that's redundant to Cade. Buzelis is off the board. Other guys haven't shown much. Honestly, I think I would go Taron Shannon here. Okay. Taron Shannon goes five. Uh, I have a proposal on what the Hornets would do at six then. Yes. They take Sar. Yes. They don't care that he looks bad. They just take Sar. Yep. Okay. So that takes us to seven, where the Trailblazers are on the clock and they want a center. They could get Donovan Klingon again, which they got in real life. I think they would take Zach Eady. I think they would take Zach Eady too. I think they would take Zach Eady, man. Okay. So we move on uh, to eight. The Spurs are back on the clock. They took Rob Dillingham in real time. They could take Ron Holland. They could take Donovan Klingon. They could take. Uh... Is this them drafting it? Or are we saying they trade this to the T-Wolves? Uh, yeah, I guess they took Dillingham and traded him to the T-Wolves. Yeah. So how are we looking at that? Let's do let's do T Wolves. Okay. T Wolves missed out on Terrence Shannon. Ah. Oh, I think they would take. See, it's hard to be like take Devin Carter because like they didn't like he hasn't played. He's hurt. I know what they would do. Would they take Dalton Connect? They would take Bob Carrington. Yeah, it's a good pick. They went for Dillingham, but Bub looks better than Dillingham right now. <laughs> right now. Right now is right. Uh, okay. Ninth is the Grizzlies. They took Zach Eady. Donovan Klingon is still on the board. 
Khalil Ware is also on the board. I think it's one of the two. I think having a lob, I think having a lob threat center like Khalil Ware would be something the Grizzlies would do. I think they would take Khalil Ware over Klingon. Yes, so Klingon's officially falling out of the top nine in our redraft. Yes, I w- I would strongly advocate we flip this and Klingon goes nine. You were just trying to talk me in the where going third. I was, but that's different. Like the Grizz, the way the Grizzlies are using Edie pick and roll stuff, like they still roll. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay, yeah, Klingon. Klingon goes nine. Okay. Uh, Ten is the Jazz. They took Cody Williams in real time. Ron Holland is now available to Johnny Salon. Uh, Devin Carter, Khalil Ware still there. Jared McCain. Rob Dillingham still available. Rob Dillingham. I feel like they still might take Cody Williams. Dylan Jones, Baylor Shireman. Bobby Clintman. Kobe Williams. I don't want to. I don't think Cody Williams belongs anywhere in this free draft. Nowhere. He looks bad to me. All right. In that case, I would advocate for probably Dalton Connect. I don't think Connect belongs in this either. What the hell? I don't think Connect's been good. This is, uh, uh, I would like. Don't you think McCain's been better than Connect, or am I crazy on that? No, nah, McCain's actually. I thought been bad. Yeah. Ah, fine. Connect. Connect 10 to the Jazz. 11 is the Bulls. They took Buzelis. Do they get Ron Holland now? (laughs) Or Khalil. This is Khalil Ware territory. I think Khalil Ware is a good pick for the Bulls. Khalil Ware, 11 to the Bulls. 12 12 is the Thunder. They took Nikola Topic. I know you hate this, but they probably take their family member. But um, Bob Karen is off the board. Uh, do you think Rob Dillingham belongs in this at all? Yeah, I like that. Dillingham and Shea. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Dillingham, 12 to the Thunder. 13 is the Kings. They took Tevin Carter in real life. I feel like they would just do that again. Yes, they would. So they're the only team that took the same guy they actually have. <laughs> yes. And then 14th is the Portland Trailblazers who traded to the Wizards. So this is for the Wizards. What would the Wizards do at 14? I think the best names available are uh, Ron Holland, Bobby Clintman, Cody Williams, Jared McCain, Baylor Shireman. I, McCain, I don't think, can fall out of it. I would either say McCain or Shireman at this spot. I got the name, I would say. Who? I think it's Bobby Clinton. You think? Wow, you think he's played that well? I think he's been better than these other dudes. And I, this I is a summer league fall in love in This is a summer league performance redraft. So, yes. I'd be Bobby okay Clinton with goes 14. So, the NBA redraft. Reed Shepard, one. Stefan Castle, two. Buzelis, three. Reese Ache, four. Shannon, five. Sar, six. Edie, seven. Bub Carrington, eight. Klingon, nine. Connect, ten. Khalil Ware, 11. Dillingham, 12. Devin Carter, 13. Bobby Clintman, 14. Did you like that exercise or no? I hated it, honestly. Yeah, I feel like you've hated every segment we've done for two months. 